Hello friends and welcome to Sunny Tech YouTube channel. So in today's video, I am going to teach you about real-time database. So here you can see that I made a simple program where I have to move this red square. Okay, so I kept it in the left corner. Now I will copy this link and paste it under tab. Okay. So you can see here, this ball is in the. I made it in uh, right bottom corner. So you can see both the balls having different position. This is because in every tab, the ball is independent. So in real time database, we will connect it, and by that, in every tab, we will do the changes means if I change in tab 1 the position of ball so it will also come in this position means both the positions will be same like this we will make multiplayer games okay so let's work on it and you will understand okay so you can see the codes now we are going to create a database so we are going to use firebase which is from google okay so let's start by creating add project but before that give a like to this video share this video and if you are new in our channel just click on the red subscribe button okay so let's get started so click on add project and here enter the name of the project like I will need, write real time database click on continue now here just disable it okay and then click on create projects okay so it will take a little bit time so let's wait So here I have paused video. So our project is ready. Then click on continue. So after pressing continue, you will get this interface. Now here you can see three options iOS, Android, and web. So we are going to use web. Okay. Now here enter web means name. So I will write real time database then click on register app after that it will give you firebase sdk so here you can see the copy button just click on it okay and after that here is our project so it is very simple you can see so here in index.html in body tag you can see where it is closing head and there is forward slash before so just paste the link here okay now one more thing is that you can see in the second line okay this line just copy this line and paste it below and instead of app you have to write database okay and save it so we have pasted our SDK means we have connected our means this game with Firebase. Okay. Then click on continue to console. Now you can see this interface. So here you can see real time database. Click on it. Okay. So we will get this interface. Now here you can see create database so you can click on it and here click on test mode at beginning we are going to use test mode and then after I will also tell you lock mode so click on enable
and your database is done okay so now here you can see this plus icon uh, plus button here it is add child so this is our parent class and we will we are going to create child class so for that i will click on it and here i will write ball okay so name i kept ball and here value so instead of value i will click on child to add it now here i will write position okay then again i am going to add a child actually two childs now here i will write x and here y and here i will just give the coordinate or any number it depends on you okay so now click on add so we have created child nodes in real time database okay and now we are going to work with this so now here we are going to create a variable sorry is where okay and here i will write database and one more where and that i will make it position okay so i have created here ball now what we will do we will write database sorry uh, database is equal to firebase dot database so here what i've done i created a variable and database and in database i have stored the database from firebase means database uh, here i have added this one okay okay so now what we are going to do uh, in okay so now so we are going to create variable means a variable here and that will be ball position okay now we will write variable ball position is equal to sorry for the noise uh, okay here database dot ref so ref means we are referring it okay and where we are referring it in database and database means database from the firebase so we are referring means we are locating him okay and what we are going to take we are going to take ball then forward slash then position okay means here you can see ball slash position so we are storing our ball position here okay okay now we are going to read it so for read we will write ball position dot on so on is used for listening so what you will listen from it means what you will take so in quotes we will write value we will take value and here one more thing we are going to write and that is red position so it is a function which we are going to create now so let's come to last line and here we will create a function red position okay and here inside it we will write database okay now in above you can see position so we are going to use it here so i'll write position is equal to data dot well uh, okay data dot well so this well means value so we are storing value in this position okay now i will write 
bond dot x is equal to position dot x again ball dot y is equal to position dot y i know uh, many noises are there so don't worry i will explain it to you again okay first let me complete the codes so now i will create a one more function and i will name it as a uh, i will name it as right position so here we are going to update or we can we are going to set the locations means whenever we will change the position of our uh, that red square sorry so i was saying that whenever i am going to move that uh, uh, red ball so it al must also move in the another tab okay so for that here i am going to write okay so now in this right position i will write x and y okay so we are writing this because if you write in here so we are going to use that one only so here it is will be data okay here we use data and you can see this both same now here we are going to write database dot ref so first of all we ref refer it what ball position then we will write dot set so now from here we are going to change our location so in this parenthesis under the parenthesis just give it quotes it okay so here set now we are going to set so what so in quotes we will write x now this x means this one here you can see this x okay and it will and what it will be its value so its value will be position dot x plus x again here in quotes we write y and in here like uh, this colon or what i forgot its name position dot y plus y now here one thing you remember okay when you are using first parenthesis and then after uh, flower brackets inside the parenthesis you are not going to use this semicolon you are going to use comma okay now you can see this read position we have called it and this uh, right position okay i will until uh, here i copy and instead of this line i will paste it and close it and let me copy this now here uh, you can see i am increasing by minus 2 so here x so when we press left arrow it will come here in x axis means left side so let is is in left side it is x and what will happen uh, the x coordinate will decrease so i will write it minus 2 and y it will not be changed okay like this if we press right arrow then the position of the ball must move i don't know why these vehicles are moving now at this time okay so when we press right arrow it will come in right side by 2 and y are not going to change now when we press up arrow so x will not change 
here y will change by minus because its coordinate will decrease as it go ups and here you are going to write 0 2 as it will come down now one more thing is that we are going to write a condition here that if position is not for not we are using this uh, exclamation exclamation mark okay not equal to undefined okay and then when it is it and open it here okay so when the position will not defined then this will work okay now click on save as you saw my computer was lagging so now here you can see both tabs it is reloading So you can see both now here I will move it up you can see it comes up and in this step here you can see okay so here uh, that was not working because here we are going we have to give two equals okay then it will compare okay so when the position will not defined then this will work okay that's why we wrote this condition otherwise it will not work so here you can see here it is now when i move it up you can see it also uh, now when i move it here right sorry left right bottom in the second step it is also you can see now let me uh, copy and in the third tab when I open it uh, you can see its position changed and in real time database let me show you x30 y3 so when I change it up you can see position y changed if I move it diagonal so you can see both the positions changed and in this in every time you can see here I move it up here it's come okay here I come diagonal here see you can see position here and in the third tab also so that's how the uh, real time database works and using this only we are going to create a car racing game which will be multiplayer so that we and our friends can play together okay so if you like this video give a like to this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel okay uh, so see you in the next video till then bye bye and and nothing more and if you have any problem just click on just comment me in the description box so see you soon